Late this summer, Northrop Grumman and Boeing almost simultaneously opened a small but symbolic window into the world of sixth-generation aviation, showing us concepts of the future carrier-based fighter of the U.S. Navy. In today's video, we offer a look at what the FAXX might look like, what it will borrow from its predecessors, and what it will abandon, leaving forever in aviation museums. Right before our eyes, the U.S. Navy is creating an entirely new kind of deck power logic. Just a decade ago, it seemed that the versatile Boeing FA-18EF Super Hornet fighters, paired with the latest fifth-generation Lockheed Martin F-35C fighters, would cover the needs of the carrier air wing for years to come. But the geopolitical reality of the Pacific theater gradually squeezed out the old mathematics. The enemy's defenses have moved into the distance, the radio horizon has grown significantly, and the density of projected fire does not provide any advantages, even with an increase in ammunition. So the Navy didn't need a new aircraft to replace the old one, but a complete architectural unit around which they could build a family of systems, just like the U.S. Air Force did with its sixth-generation fighter program, Next Generation Air Dominance, and GAD. The system consists of a manned leader MQ-25 unmanned tankers, collaborative combat aircraft CCA drones, an overseas sensor network, and onboard electronics that treat the pilot as a decision maker. Simply put, the FAXX will be a quarterback for the team, but not a lone striker. It'll be a leader, distributing tasks and coordinating strike profiles, with an eye on the fact that the air wing mass should be 60% unmanned by the 2040s. The FAXX program has been around since at least 2012, and the initial requirements for the fighter were formulated back in 2008. The first and most important of these was, is, and remains operational range. The increase was initially planned to be significant, but in the spring of 2025, the U.S. Navy said it expected it to be 25%. Compare that to the carrier-based version of the F-35C Lightning II fighter, which has a combat radius of 670 miles, and the FAXX has 837.5 nautical miles. Many were confused by the announced figure. But in fact, it logically fits in with the appearance of organic refueling in the form of Boeing MQ-25 Stingray, and the fact that range in a network battle is not so much about the tank volume, but about the ability to extend your reach at the expense of friendly aircraft. Some detect the target, others transmit its coordinates, and still others launch weapons. Other requirements for the future air platform include super cruise capability, advanced next-generation stealth capabilities, and network-capable sensors and radars. In the summer of 2024, the NGAD program was put on pause, after which many aviation enthusiasts began to rightfully worry about the future of the FAXX. In March 2025, it turned out that work on NGAD was in full swing, the fighter received the official name F-47 and Boeing was appointed responsible for its development. As for the FAXX, by the end of spring, the program status was suspended, and a little later information leaked to the media that the Pentagon wanted to reallocate funding from the FAXX fighter to the F-47 and freeze the program to develop the former. Shortly thereafter, Lockheed dropped out of the FAXX competition, making the spate of negative news even more painful for anyone who like us, had been following the fate of the next generation of American carrier-based aviation with interest. However, the U.S. Congress had its own opinion on this matter. The version of the FY 2026 Defense Appropriations Bill approved by the Senate Appropriations Committee included $1.4 billion for the development of a new Navy fighter jet. This means the service has received the green light to continue its work. But the most interesting thing was yet to come, because in August of this year, two players, Northrop Grumman and Boeing, simultaneously rolled out their concepts for a new naval fighter. Northrop was the first to post concept art on their official website in the Naval Aviation section, showing the front end of a potential FAXX on the deck of an aircraft carrier. From the pronounced cheekbones that flow seamlessly into the fuselage and the design with constantly changing rounded surfaces, we can clearly see that this is a next-generation stealth aircraft. At the same time, the nose appears wide enough to provide a large aperture for the radar, and the underside of the aircraft, even visually, has enough depth with a large rounded bottom to accommodate an impressive arsenal and fuel supply inside. 
The large teardrop-shaped canopy hints at a single-seat configuration and gives the pilot good visibility, although there were initial rumors that the FAXX would be too complex for long-range missions requiring a two-man crew. The most intriguing component is the upper air intake, located in the left shoulder part of the fighter. It has a slightly curved but generally rectangular profile with a vertical shelf on the outside and extends from the spine of the fuselage almost to the root of the wing. The mirror air intake on the right can feed another engine. However, given how much time stealth aircraft engineers have to spend on air intakes, they will almost certainly change dozens of times before the production version of the aircraft is introduced. Looking at the Northrop concept, some noted its similarity to Northrop's advanced tactical fighter, ATF YF-23, which was unsuccessful in its competition against Lockheed's YF-22 prototype, which we now call the F-22 Raptor. At the same time, despite the similarities in the nose and cockpit, the placement of the same air intakes is very different. The YF-23 had them under the wings, while the FAXX concept has them mounted on top. Considering that Northrop was one of the leading contenders to build the NGAD fighter for the U.S. Air Force, the idea of the company shifting its focus to the FAXX for the U.S. Navy after exiting the NGAD program in 2023 seems quite plausible. The only question is how to combine two promising projects at once. After all, right now Northrop continues to work on the stealthy strategic bomber B-21 Raider, Boeing, still in the midst of the media hype after being announced as the manufacturer of the future NGAD F-47 fighter, was quick to share a fresh rendering of its FAXX version at the Tailhook Symposium in August. As with the F-47 image, Boeing chose to hide the lion's share of the aircraft surfaces behind clouds. Although we can clearly see the obvious similarity of the bubble canopy to the NGAD fighter render, but the antenna fairing appears smaller and shorter than what we've previously seen on the new U.S. Air Force fighter. Interestingly, the smaller forward cloud on the FAXX concept shown here could well be hiding the good old ducks. At least some aviation enthusiasts who discuss the design online continue to insist on this version. Moreover, the forward horizontal tail was a surprise for many after the publication of the F-47 rendering. Yes, these were also hidden, but only so much that we were all perfectly aware of their presence on the fighter. But only time will tell how successful the ducks will be for an aircraft with the stealth prefix. After all, they were often present on tactical fighters that needed maximum maneuverability. The tail section, as in the Northrop concept, is carefully hidden by the fog of war. However, we can assume that the Boeing version will certainly follow the example of NGAD, namely the tailless design. Another mystery surrounding the FAXX was and remains its engine. While the Air Force says the NGAD fighter will get an entirely new adaptive propulsion system being developed under the Next Generation Air Propulsion NGAP program, the Navy has so far only said the FAXX will use a modified engine. After news broke about Boeing's vision of a sixth generation carrier based American fighter, Doubts began to appear online about the company's ability to be responsible for two projects at once for the U.S. Air Force and Navy. But Boeing Defense and Space CEO Steve Parker said that was always part of the strategy, including Boeing's investment in a new advanced combat aircraft assembly plant in St. Louis, Missouri, that would have the capacity to build two jets if Boeing also won the FAXX competition. Given the visual similarity between the F-47 and the FAXX proposed by Boeing, this idea doesn't even seem strange, especially if the U.S. Air Force and Navy fighters receive at least a partially single basic design with a high degree of unification, which we could already see in the same F-35 Lightning II. Both concepts are interesting not only as a glimpse into the final form of the FAXX, but as important indicators of the maturity of the program and the current state of the U.S. defense industry. Moreover, no one has canceled the eternal strategic factor. The U.S. Navy has for decades built its power around aircraft carriers as a versatile force projection tool. However, in the Pacific theater, these ships have become more vulnerable than ever due to the development of enemy long-range anti-ship systems, air defenses, electronic warfare, and a simple increase in the radio horizon. And in these conditions, the FAXX must prove its value not as just another carrier-based fighter, but as the centerpiece of an air wing network that allows American aircraft carriers to remain a reliable deterrent.
In other words, this is not about the fate of a single aircraft, but about the future of the very concept of carrier strike groups. Now it's your turn to tell us which company's concept seemed more interesting, Northrop's or Boeing's, and why. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more content like today's. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.